Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, Mauricio, uh, Angelica, good evening, Arnoldo. How, how are you doing, guys? Hi, Gabby, good evening. Ruben, Andre, how are you guys? So, have a great Tuesday. It's really nice to see you guys. Give me just a second, let me turn on the camera. Um, I'm just looking for my, for my lights here. Hold on, hold on. How are you doing, guys? Everything all right? Angelica, are you better? Yes, I sent them a miss. Are you feeling a little better? Yes, better. Nice. nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, it's not COVID, was it? Excuse me? It, it was not COVID, right? No, no. Oh, okay. okay. Good to hear that. Just a moment. Let me just adjust my lining. All right, guys. So super nice to see you. I hope you're having a really good Tuesday. And guys, este día hacemos la finalización de módulo. We're going to be finishing uh, intermediate number two today, which is simply amazing. So thanks a lot, everybody, for joining. Uh, give me a second. Let me just try to adjust something here. Okay, so um, I think I see like a couple of more guys. Uh, Helen, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Wow, everybody's good early. Evening. <laughs> good evening. <guys. laughs> yes. so, no, good evening, guys. Everybody's early today. <laughs> So it's amazing it's to have you. Uh, what was that, Rafael? Hmm? Ah, because it is the last it's day, but it is early. <laughs> okay, okay, get I got it. Okay, yeah, good evening. No, guys, you know, I'm like super happy to see you. So I'm glad you made it today early. Carlos, good evening. Uh Belen, thank you so much for joining. Well, guys, yeah. Oh, Kenny, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. Yes, guys, uh, vamos a hacer un repaso de algunas eh, partes de vocabulario que estudiamos this module. Eh, tenemos algo pendiente del día de ayer, too. So, estábamos hablando un poquito de fire plan, earthquake plan, what to do in the case of an earthquake, um, uh, you know, in a case of a fire. So, vamos a revisar un poquito that thingy. And, uh, y tenemos una actividad que se llama One Minute eh, Talking Time. So, vamos también a practicar a little bit. Uh, Francisco, good evening, Enrique. Thank you guys for joining. Vamos a practicar un poquito eh, la parte de fluidez as well, right? So, we get, um, you know, eh, finishing this module. Guys, eh, solamente un reminder, gracias a los que, a los que me ayudaron eh, completando la plataforma. Thank you so much. Todavía si están pendientes, please let me know. Si tienen alguna dificultad, let me know. Uh, para, you know, um, o me dicen más o menos a qué horas terminarían para poder eh, ver el reporte y no afectar eh, su nota de plataforma, right? So, um, but thank you guys in advance for that. So let's get it started and uh, we are going to review, creo que están familiarizados todos, I guess everybody's familiar uh, with this little game. I think everybody played this one back in school, high school. Uh, yes, bachillerato stop or the alphabet game or the category game that we also call it. 
Guys, vamos a jugar algo similar. So we are going to play something similar to uh, this thing. Of course, las categorías han cambiado. So here we have uh, the adjectives. We have fruit, food, uh, vegetables in English, colors, occupations, animals. And here we have total. ¿Se recuerda de las reglas? Do you remember the rules? The first uh, the end say stop. Okay, yeah, the first person who finishes can say stop and everybody should stop I'm, writing. I never play game. Ah, okay, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So if you complete or if you find one word that is not repeated, so we get 10 points. If the word that you write is repeated, you get only five points, exactly. And if you write nothing, so you get nothing. So uh, this is very similar to the game you played back in the school. Uh, so for example, imagine that the letter we have is A, let's say. Uh, and I'm going to write an adjective with letter A, right? So everything has to go with A as the first letter. Can you give me an adjective with A? Amazing. Oh, very good. Okay, so amazing. Mm, so that como la voz de Imelda? No? I think it's mine, uh, Gabby. Gabby, oh my God, I confused your voice with email <laughs> test. <laughs> Do you get flu still? Yeah, since oh, Friday. I was like, wait, I haven't heard, I, I haven't seen Imelda, but I heard Imelda's voice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're, you're still with flu. Hopefully uh, it's get uh it's going to you're going to get over soon okay amazing is a really good word what about fruit it can be food fruit or a vegetable in english not a spanish please apple okay apple yeah so that sounds good then we have color a color with a aqua oh very good there you go okay and uh an occupation with a Architect. 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 Okay. Ar Wait, how, how do you write architect? Forgot it. Okay, there you go. And animal with A? Ant. Oh, very good. Okay. And that's it. So, what? why an do anaconda. we have? Oh, anaconda. But anaconda is a snake. Well, but yes, right? So, it works. It's animal too? Yeah, it works. Go in it in. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. Great to see you. So um, how do we um, get the total here? Imagine, for example, I wrote amazing y nadie más lo tiene. Nobody else has amazing. So if this is not repeated, I'm going to get 10 points. Oh boy. Well, digamos que todos le escribieron lo mismo. So you get only five points because it is repeated. Because alguien más ya la dijo, right? Aqua. No encontré más colores, I, I got a quarter. Architect, uh, so let's say that nadie más tiene la misma palabra, you get 10 points, etc., etc., and nobody else has it, and you get 10 points too. So then the total is just the addition. So 10 plus 10, 20, plus 5, uh, 25, plus 5, 30, and plus 10, that would be 40. So the total is 40 points. Okay, and that's it. So we get the total just by addition. So guys, we are going to play these. Please, vayan escribiendo cuánto tienen. Let's go uh, and get the total at the same time or by the end of each letter. And the winner is the person who gets more points at the end. So uh, tell me, good evening. Thank you for joining. Good evening, and, uh, Oh, Imelda, there you go. Say good evening. Okay, guys, so in your notebook, in a piece of paper, please write this. Uh, just make like a, like a chart. Hagamos el cuadrito, right? Make a chart super quick. Uh, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, columns, right? Seven different columns. And probably just like three or four um files or lines, we are not going to make too many. Um, no Spanglish is allowed. No 
So you cannot say in fruit, for example, mango, papaya, whiskey, less, you know, not really. So no Spanglish. No, um, no. And try <laughs> not to use your dictionary. But of course, si hay alguien en su casa uh, who can help you, it's okay. You can ask for help, but but not a translator, not a dictionary, because the idea is to remember to push your brain. Uh, let me know when you're ready, please. Me dicen cuando ya estén listos. Let me know when you are ready, when you have it. Hi, Judy. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing, Miss? Guys, qué bonito que estén todos. It's amazing that almost everybody's here. Creo que solo me falta eh, Margarita, I think. So almost everybody's here. Early, nice. That's amazing. Okay. So. Da, 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 da. Um, I, I would recommend you guys uh, in the computer sure. it's better than difficult, so try to write it down instead. Yes, Mauricio? Use the question in when you say food, fruit, or vegetable, could be one of or, or three. Oh, yes, or of course. Is food no, no, no words. Oh. No, the thing is that when it says food, so it is very general, so uh, if you don't have, for example, the name of a dish or a protein, so you can include any fruit. I mean, algo edible, right? Algo que se pueda comer. So that is the thing. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, fruit, vegetable, no cookies, no snacks, but just like food, you know, like, I don't know. Like a dish. Uh -huh, exactly. The name of for a example, dish. For example, lasagna, if you I yes. have L. That's why, exactly. So, no vamos a agregar, I don't know, quesito, right? <laughs> yeah, quesito, boroto, and all those things, I know, but delicious, not cookies. Delicious. That's why, just food, fruit, or vegetables, or dishes instead of food, you know, dishes. Okay. That would be the that. word. Thank hmm? you. Welcome. Guys, are you ready? Están listos? You ready? Yes. Yes, very nice. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get it started. Oh, but there is one more Good thing. Wedding. There is one more thing. Uh, si lo dejamos libre, we will never finish. So I'm going to give you uh, one minute maximum. So, uh, you know, si lo terminan antes, just say done, say finish, and everybody should stop it. Or the, um, I will let you know when the time is over. So can I, un minuto, exactly only one minute. So uh, guys, easy or difficult? Wait, Francisco, wait. <laughs> easy or difficult letters, guys? What do you want? Difficult. Difficult letters. Oh my god. Okay, let's just start with medium easy, you know, and let's get a little harder here. Okay, so let's go, guys. Letter C. One minute. Go. Yes, letter C. One minute, guys. Remember, no Spanglish. If you finish, please say don't. Don't, teacher. Oh my God. Okay, guys, stop it. Stop writing. So you still have 30 seconds. Okay, good. Uh, let's start with you, Mauricio. And guys, eh, vayan diciendo no las que tienen. Si al escucha la de ustedes, también say it. Because necesitamos a ver si están repetidas. Uh, adjectives. What do you have in C? I have cool. Cool. Okay, guys. Díganos los adjetivos que tienen, please. So cool. Cute. Cute. Charming. Mm. Charming. Clean. Clean. Open. Mm, pero open no aplica. Here, because eh, no va con C. So, sorry, no points for that one. Guys, alguien más? Do you have another one? Chip. Uh, chip de barato? Yeah, that works. 
No more. Oh, okay. Ninguno está repetido. So, guys, Yo. we get 10 points uh, for the ones you mentioned. No escuché ninguno repetido. Guys, si tienen el mismo, repitanlo, please, because we need to know. Eh, fruit, food, or vegetable. What do you have in C? Cranberry. Cranberry. Uh, Coconut. Okay. Coconut. Creo que escuché cherry. Did you yes. say cherry? Okay. Coconut. Cherry. Carrot. 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 Está repetida. Five points. Cacao. Cacao, okay. Cucumber, Cucumber okay. Coffee. 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 Uh, is it vegetable? No, right. I mean, sí, sí pero no. <laughs> Sorry. No, oh. that's a go here. It's like a raw material. Uh -huh. That would be raw material. Or a drink in any case. Uh -huh. Or a hen. That wouldn't work. Uh -huh. Más, guys, what else? Okay, so only carrot is repeated, and then the rest I didn't listen to any repeat. Ish. Color, what do you have with color? Cyan. Oh, the same. <laughs> okay, five points. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Occupation. Constructor. Carpenter. Carpenter. Le escuché dos veces, so five points. Constructor. Construction worker. Constant. Account, pero es accountant with A, sorry, no, no points. Another? No? Okay, okay, guys. And the last one, animal. What do you have in animal? Cow? Crocodile? Okay, crocodile, yes. Cat. Uh, cat. Sure, I, I, I have one, one, but I don't know if it's okay. What do you have? Zebra. Oh, and sorry, no, with Z. Uh, yeah, sorry, that doesn't work. Uh huh. Any other? Creo que escuché otro, but I didn't get that. Okay, so cat. I can imagine a cat. Me. 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 Okay, okay <laughs> guys, cat is repeated. Nobody cat is me. repeated. Um, crocodile. Can you imagine a crocodile? Solo yo lo mencioné, no sé lo demás. Yes, so I only heard you. Okay, so 10 points. It is not repeated. Only cat is repeated. Okay, guys, total. How many points do you have? Cuéntenlos, please. 35. Do the math. Do the math. 25. 25. 25. 35. Okay, do the math. So 25, 35, and the rest? 25. Mary? 30, okay, 30, 25, okay. Okay, guys, letter C was good. Let's go with the next letter. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Okay, one minute. Letter G. Letter G, guys. Guru, teacher. Did you finish? Group. Oh, I'm sorry, what's that? Um, group. Group uh, work. Okay, time is over, guys. Time is over. Uh, group work. Oh, okay. Well, actually, uh, well, the activity is individual, Miss, but solo vamos a escribir una palabra por cada una. Guys, time is over. Stop writing, please. And let's compare Men, what you have. Menu. So, menu. Adjective with G. Castle. Giant. Giant. Genius. Generous. Okay, 
Okay, okay. Uh, generous. Mm. Let's start with that. Can you say generous? Generous. Aparte de Belén, who has generous? No. No. Okay, 10 points. Uh, gigantic. ¿Quién tiene gigantic, guys? Creo que escuché a alguien there. Only one? Okay, so that is 10. Genius. Who has genius? Only one. Oh my God, guys, los demás que tienen, what do you have? I give. have gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Who has gorgeous? <laughs> Grossy. Uh, okay, so gorgeous, I don't think it's repeated. That would be 10. Give is un verbo, sorry. So give, uh, no points. <laughs> that is a verb. Giant. Giant. Giant is not an adjective. That would be gigantic. Sorry. So no. Good. Good. Can you see good? Can you say great? Okay. Good. Can you see good? Nobody. Ten points. Great. Can you see great? Nobody. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Ten points for that. Next one, guys. Food. What do you have in food? Granita. Okay, grape. this is grape. Okay, si so tienen grape, guys, cinco puntos. It's repeated already. Granate. Inda, Granate. but that is Spanglish. I'm sorry. Guava. guava. Very good. Can you see guava? Who has guava? Oh, that's not repeated. Okay, very good. Guava, 10 points. Grape, uh, Granate. 5 points. Granade. Who has grenade? Me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Five points. Um, what else? What else? No ginger. ginger, okay. Ginger. I guess it's food, right? Like the cooking, like the ginger cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody else? Esta será rebuscada. Okay, so you get 10. <laughs> you get 10 points there. Color. Uh, Kenya says gray. Okay, uh, green. 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 I have green. Okay, green. So gray. Nobody else? I, okay, green. So I think I heard green. Angelica. So that would be five for gray. Green, ya lo escuché a couple of times. So five points two. Gold, se del me. ¿Quién más tiene gold? Me, teacher. Oh, golden. sorry, five points. Okay. I wrote golden. Is it the same? But that would be the same color. <laughs> so five points. Okay, more colors. Okay. Occupations. Gigola. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, my God, really? <laughs> okay. Um, Go keep it. I, I don't know if... I don't know if that counts, <laughs> but okay. Um, what do you have, guys? Oh, there is a gardener. Courses count. Okay, gardener, he must in the gardener. Oh, very good. So I think, pero no sé si Kenya, eh, creo que Kenya decía la, oh, I'm sorry. Kenya lo tiene. Kenya has that, so that's five. Yeah, granger. Which one, uh, Judy? Uh, uh -huh. Granjero. Oh, pero eso sería un farmer. That would be a farmer. So it comes with letter G. Um, so, no. Geologist. Goalkeeper. G. Okay, goalkeeper. No lo escuché to anybody, so I think that would be a 10. Uh, geologist, you said? Yes, geologist. Who has geologist? Geologist. Mm -hmm. okay, más lo tiene? Who has it? Oh, 10 points. Okay, very good. And the last one, guys, animal. What do you have for animal? I guess that noise geologista. Gira. That's it. Uh, geologist, like from Geologo. the earth? Yes. Geologo, no geologista. No, 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 but, but a geologist in English. Mm -hmm. uh, the animal you said giraffe? That's Goat. Oh, a goat. Okay. So, okay, first, uh, let's go with giraffe. Are you must in a giraffe? Anything. Nothing? Me? Only Andrea. 
giraffe guys, nadie más. Oh. Yes, I. Oh, okay, let me hesitate. Sorry, so five points. Uh, gazelle. Goldfish. No creo que alguien tenga gazelle. So that would be 10. Goldfish. Goldfish. I have goldfish. 10. I don't think anybody else has it. Guys, um, alguien más dijo, oh, oh goat. ¿Quién más tiene goat? De cabra. Goat. Francisco. Francisco says. But Francisco said another one, I think. Oh, that was goat. Yes, that's right. Okay. So Francisco, thank for thank for that one too. Okay. Um, mm, golden in color, yes. Uh, pero that would be five points. Uh, Ricardo. So in color, that's okay. All right, guys. So escriban el total, please. Write the total you get here. Remember, repetida, so you get five. If it is not repeated, you get 10. 30 points? Okay. 30. 30? Okay. Oh. Anybody else? How many points do you get? 25. 25. Okay. 20. 20. Oh, okay. Okay. That's all right. Um, yes, Ricardo, solo que I get 18, pero remember that tiene que iniciar con esta letra. It has to begin with this letter, right? So, for example, uh, si es un animal, tiene que iniciar con la letra C. Has to begin with letter C. Um, okay, guys, so nice, nice. Vamos por la última, let's go for the last letter, right? Let's go with the last. Uh, uh, as you were asking for it, Vamos por una difícil, I think. No, maybe not. It, I don't think it will be difficult. So letter H, guys. One minute, go. Letter H. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Time's over. Okay, guys, time's over. So what do you no. have? What's the difficult? No. 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 Okay. All right. So did you complete it? Let's go with adjective. Continuing adjective. What do you have there? Hello, Rose. Happy. <laughs> okay. Hungry. Okay. okay, so I heard hilarious. Um, no recuerdo si lleva doble L. I'm sorry about this. Oh, or correct me, guys, if I'm wrong. So hilarious, a uh, happy, que más? Normal. Uh, Enrique, what was the word? Honorable. Oh, okay. Uh, Francisco, what was that? Half. Half, half like la mitad, half? Sí. Oh. Mm, yes, I think it will work as an adjective. <laughs> okay. Um, fruit, what do you have in fruit, guys? Oh, I'll give you that one of these. Humble. Each a humble. Humble. Okay. Honey. Handsome. Okay, handsome, homeboy. Halcon. Okay. Um, Yena, Falcon. Pero ya vamos a llevar a los animales. Wait, wait a second. Okay. So, no escuché ninguno repetido. So that would be a 10 for everybody, including a uh, humble, handsome. So that's okay. Fruit. Uh, what did you say? Hamburger? Hot dog. Okay, hot dog. Um, Ham? 
Oh, hamburger. Okay. Honey. Honey. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? One night. Ham, just like that. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién más Creo que ya lo había escuchado. I think I heard this. Okay. Hot cake. Okay. Guys, a uh, hot dog. ¿Quién más tiene hot dog? I do. Oh, okay. Y creo que Mauricio tú, right? Yes. Okay, five points. A ham. So that was Gabby. But ham, what's the mean? Uh, ham, like from hamburger. Like um, el jamón, the, the thingy that you eat in the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, oh, but but Gary, creo que nadie más lo tiene. I think that would be a 10. Hamburger, creo que escuché a um, Angelica. Yes. Okay, ¿quién más tenía hamburger? Me. Oh, sorry. That is a, ten, a five then. <laughs> so five points for this one. Honey, I think I heard Andrea. Yes, honey. Okay, nadie más? Nobody else has honey? Honey. Ricardo, ¿tiene honey too? Two. <laughs> oh, ¿qué, ¿Qué tienen comida, Ricardo? What do you have? Huevos, frijoles. Oh, pero con, <laughs> que inicie con H. Uh -huh. It has to begin with H, but in English. <laughs> huevo, huevo, uh, but huevo. in English, that would be a Spanish. English. Okay, so Andrea, we are good. Ocupación 10 points con... for you. Uh, you next are slide. cheating. You are cheating, Francisco. <laughs> yeah, occupation. Time is over. <laughs> Occupations with H, guys. Quiero terminar. I... Color teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the color. Color with H. Did you find an, uh, any any color? I don't have anything. 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 Okay. So we did Invisible. Any... <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Okay. Occupation with H. <laughs> Housewife. Housewife. Okay. When you finish. Okay, give me just a second, guys. <laughs> what is that, Enrique? <laughs> I have never heard. But is that color, does that color exist? Well, Manoa. <laughs> give me one second, guys. Oh, okay. So Enrique says that it's like a sort of, um, I don't know, dark pink or fuchsia color. Okay, colored heaven. <laughs> Siento que están haciendo trampa, guys. <laughs> Rafael, I, I feel like, like you're kind if of you, cheating. You say <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that for real? Does that color exist? <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, color heaven. Okay, let's say that it's okay, but I don't know. I need to investigate, but let's say that it's all right. And um, occupation, you said? What was that? I don't know who say, but say who's housewife. Uh, okay, so any housewife? Hairdresser. Oh, hairdresser, nice. Humanitarian. Humanitarian, okay, sounds good. Okay, guys, and uh, we are going to just finish up with the animal in a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, guys, solo les voy a robar un par de minutos eh, para que podamos terminar nuestra encuesta too. Um, and then we can move on with the rest of the activities. Deme un segundito, guys. Les comparto en estos momentos el link. Para que puedan ingresar. Guys, nadie lo, lo ha completado todavía, right? Nobody has completed that one. No, no yet. Okay, super. No, okay. Perfect. Sounds really good. 
Okay, guys. So, um, normally, se les voy a pedir, guys, que vayamos paso a paso. And uh, especialmente hay un par, bueno, ustedes ya tienen experiencia llenando la bar. Um, con respecto a los números de grupo, a los nombres completos, nombre de la empresa. Si lo vamos a hacer, uh, como les voy a copiar, ustedes lo pegan para que sea un poco más fácil, right? Solo denme un segundito, eh, les cargo en esos momentos el, el link para que podamos en, entrar y we can get started. Um, hold on, my computer gets here. Eh, chicos, todos saben cuál es el, la razón social de su empresa. Mientras me carga por acá. El nombre de la empresa. Uh -huh. El nombre. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Super. Si alguien yeah, la necesita. Caso, sí, tengo toda la información. Ah, vale. Ok, perfecto. Eh, solo Aquí tengo que... el link que nos lo enviaron hoy. Ah, ok. Ok. Perfect. En el chat está del WhatsApp. Super, sí, porque ahorita no me quiere cargar. But igual se los comparto eh, either way here. Si no, guys, eh, podamos darle clic al enlace. And, uh, ya lo tienen en WhatsApp. Y si no, se si están en la computadora. Ahorita se los comparto en el chat del de grupo. So let me share that. And, uh, me confirma si les carga, por favor. A mí sí ya me cargó. Ahorita lo estoy llenando. Ah, ok. Perfecto. So, uh, denme un momento, because I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Ok, so, uh, la encuesta, guys, es la misma que hemos completado en uh, ocasiones anteriores. So, tenemos acá que la información proporcionada va a ser utilizada por Insafor para fines internos. Nos pide que ingresemos el número completo de la orden. Este número se los voy a copiar para que solamente lo vayamos eh, pegando. So, número de la orden es este, guys. Si están en su teléfono, igual lo podemos completar directamente el que aparece en, en WhatsApp, right? Otherwise, está acá. Se los dejo por acá. Uh, so, eh, no lo vayamos a escribir, solamente copiémoslo y peguémoslo, please. Nombre completo. Guys, este es según su DUI. Se aparece eh, que es casada, por ejemplo. Vamos a ponerle el de, right? Uh, así tal cual aparece. Dos nombres o tres nombres. Eh, los apellidos. So, completo, please. Y les pide información personal. So, eso sí podemos adelantarlo. Les va a pedir el correo electrónico. Si se fijan, todos estos tienen asterisco, lo cual significa que son de carácter obligatorio. Si no, no los va a dejar eh, que puedan enviarla. So, eh, correo electrónico, número de celular, eh, sexo, femenino o masculino. Usted selecciona acá. Departamento. Michelle. De residencia. Dígame, Francisco. Eh, perdón, dígame, Erka. <risa> ya le cambié el nombre. Me... Yo... <risa> no, este, ¿Cuál es la primera? Eh, se le acabó de pegar acá. Eh, bueno. Váyase al chat de, de la sesión de aquí de Zoom. Y uh -huh. es la que dice numeritos. 2, 8, 6, 3, 7, etc. Entonces, cópiela y péguela. No la va a escribir. Solo cópiela y péguela. El chat. Sí, acá en el chat. Teacher, but it's the same uh, at the email, right? Eh, like you said, mm -hmm. recibieron. Yes. Yes, it is exactly the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, podemos eh, empezar a completar la guys. Uh, cuando lleguemos a la número 8, me avisan, por favor. Eh, sí, ahorita, Enrique. Precisamente eh, por eso les, les consultaba, porque eh, recordemos que la empresa donde trabaja, no vamos a poner eh, 
como el nombre como la conocemos, sino la razón social de la empresa. Eh, ahorita les ayudo con eso. Si es la primera vez que están con nosotros, creo que solamente era el caso de Enrique. Um, solo Enrique era, era el, el nuevo del grupo, right Recuerdo que vi a alguien más. I'm not sure. Oh, well, I'm new, but with this group. Oh. But you have already, but see, sí, había llenado anteriormente. Yeah. Es, ah, okay. So, you know the info. <laughs> Not very well, si necesito ayuda, I can help you with that. Ahorita, Enrique, dame un segundo. Okay. Enrique. Okay. So, su empresa Enrique aparece como. Permítame. Um, se lo voy a se lo voy a copiar acá porque es un poquito largo. So, aparece como Saúl Alcide Sosa García. Si, si gusta, solamente eh, copielo y pégalo. Teacher, the mind appears uh, complete or short. Ahorita, let me confirm. So, yours, it's going to be complete. Give me one sec. Ok, eh, Mauricio, en su caso, eh, creería que no es necesario que la llene, you know, so. Teacher. Um, ya, yeah, Mauricio, en este caso no vamos a llenarla, so, and, uh, ya, le, ya le digo por qué, un segundo. Um, dígame, Ricardo. Que fecha, ya no ¿Qué fecha in inicia aún? Uh, ok, ok, ok. Give me one sec. Ok, guys. So, si ya llegamos a la número 8 y alguien no se recuerda cómo aparece su empresa, please let me know y con gusto se lo proporcionamos. And, uh, el nombre del proveedor, eh, recordemos que va a aparecer como inglés corporativo o Regal International. Está acá abajo. So, vamos a seleccionar sí. este. Inglés corporativo, right? Eh, como es un menú de deslizar, solamente asegúrense que no se los vaya a cambiar si están solamente bajando en, en su página. El nombre del grupo se los voy a es el mismo que les aparece en el correo, pero eh, se los voy a pegar acá. Tú. So. So, el nombre del grupo es inglés intermedio, intermedio módulo 2, but lo pueden escribir o lo copiamos y pegamos porque es más fácil, right? And, uh, en la número 11 nos pide una valoración. And, uh, considere como valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso con respecto al tiempo, qué opina del contenido, opciones de herramientas. Eh, y si se fijan, de igual forma es un menú donde tiene que seleccionar una por cada una de las uh, filas, right? So seleccionamos. And uh, eh, cuando lo termine, luego dice en qué fecha inicia el curso. Con las fechas, de igual forma es un menú. So con este menú vamos a asegurarnos que sea el mes y la fecha. Les voy a proporcionar eh, la fecha de inicio. Para que la podamos buscar, iniciamos el 13 de junio. So, acá está en julio, si se fijan. So, voy atrás y voy a seleccionar 13. There you go. 
Y para la finalización, de igual forma, ya me aparece preseleccionada. Entonces solamente le doy clic sobre el 19, que es el día de ahora, y eso sería todo. So, 13 y 13 de junio. No se les olvide ir un mes atrás para poder seleccionar la fecha de inicio. Y la fecha de finalización ya es la que les aparece en sistema. ¿Alguien tiene dificultades, guys? Dudas, preguntas, les mineo. Si sí, ya completamos la parte de las fechas, 13 de junio, y 19 de julio la finalización. Luego nos pide el nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso, el cual esperamos que todo haya sido de su agrado durante este módulo, right? And, eh, la última parte no es obligatoria, pero si ustedes gustan, claro que la pueden llenar. Dice, menciona que otros cursos son de su interés, aparte de inglés para el trabajo, por ejemplo, si tienen otro tipo de intereses de Excel, marketing, etcétera, pueden escribirlos acá. Y porque esa es información de Insofar. Y luego en 16, si tienen algún tipo de comentario, de mejora, eh, algo que nos pueda servir, right eh, Para que el curso sea eh, mejor para, para futuros cursos, por supuesto lo podemos agregar acá. Y luego le damos clic en enviar. Y, an y antes que vayan a cerrar la paginita, cuando le damos clic en enviar, les va a aparecer algo que dice gracias. Necesito que le tomen una captura a ese gracias, right? No a sus respuestas, sino a gracias y me lo envían al uh, grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo, por favor. Si ya terminaron, si ya avanzaron, eh, envíenmelo. Oh, you did it. Wow, guys, you are super pro. Ok, <ríe> se ve la de Carlos, uh, la de Rafa. Eh, veo la de mármol, si me ayuda con el nombre completo, por favor, para identificarlo aquí. Perdón, um, María sí, Gabriela. Yeah, no worries. <ríe> Solo eh, me lo reenvía con el nombre, por favor, para que los chicos sepan que es la suya. Eh, so veo la de Belén, la de Helen, Iris, Delmi, Andrea, Kenia, Reina, Margarita. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Super. Okay. Okay, guys. Si alguien uh, tiene dificultades, let me know. Um, o si se quedaron alguna, let me know. Y la revisamos again. Francisco, gracias Francisco, thank you so much. Eh, Mauricio, le escribo in the meantime. Okay, guys, uh, just let me check. Carlos, Rafa, Angelica, Helen, Belen, Iris, Delmi, Andrea, Kenia, Margarita, Ruben, Felix, Gaby, Imelda, Francisco, Antonio, Judy. Ya terminé, teacher. Me faltan dos. Ricardo, me falta la suya. Eh, envíame la captura, porfa, con su nombre completo. Eh, guys, ¿qué más me hace falta? 
muchas preguntas, dice que quiero ver, pero... ¿Mm? Ah, no, 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 estamos completos. Solo les voy a me falta. Eh, eh, y yo sigo con Francisco. <ríe> Ricardo, envíame la suya, por favor, con su nombre completo. A ver quién es. No, no sé por qué le, los he mezclado a Francisco. Ah, ya me Launching. está cambiando. Yay, Jess Carlos, very nice. Good, 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 good. Super nice. Thank you so much for that. Ok, guys, so, um, ok, mientras eh, Ricardo termina en the... Sí, solo la captura necesitamos, Ricardo, y eso sería todo. Ok, guys, super nice. Uh, now, eh, vamos, a, vamos a continuar. We're going to complete here, right? Because we are missing a couple of, of things. No terminamos uh, parte del, del game. Uh, Debe ser, teacher. Ahorita mismo, déjeme ver. Todavía no me ha caído, Ricardo, no yet. Hay una que se, ay, güey, se fue sin nombre. Mm, eh, solamente revisa, Ricardo, que le esté enviando al grupo, right? Porque puede que esté enviándolo a otro grupo. Uh -huh. eh, porque puede ser eso también. Ok. Ok, guys. So, uh, nos hizo falta la última parte de Animal y luego vamos con Toral y vamos a sacar al ganador, right? Uh, so, obviously, no tenemos, um, we don't have any reward más que la satisfacción que ganaron, guys. Uh, so, let's go with Animals. La última letra que teníamos era H. So, letter H. What do you have in Animals with letter H? Hippo. Oh, hippopotamus. Ya lo escuché twice. So it's repeated. Five points. Hamster. Oh, yeah. Hamster. Yeah. Hamster, hamster. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? Oh, okay. That's good. Ten. La hiena, pero no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Hen. <laughs> Hen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hen. Anybody else? <coughs> oh, that would be a ten. So guys, los demás que tienen, what do you have? Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. All right, that's okay. Horse, so you had a hamster, horse, and... Um, oh, I don't remember. Horse is uh, the most common, I thought. Pensé que todos iban a tener horse, de hecho. Okay, guys, total, please do the math. ¿Cuántos puntos tienen en total? Counting all the 20. different columns. Pero todos, todos, todos. Do the math. ¿Cuántos tienen en total? Like in total. Sum them up. 85. 85 in total. Okay. So 85. 65. 65. 65. 65. Okay. How many guys? How many points do you have? Tell me, Margarita, how many do you have, guys? Helen? 60. 60 points. Okay, 60. And the, the rest? Alguien tiene más de 85? Rafa, how, how many points do you have? Thank you. Oh, 80, okay. 80, so, 80. Oh, 80 is okay. 80 is okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So 80. Más de 80, guys. More than 80. 60, teacher. 60. Okay. Gabby, how many do you have? 85. No, 85 as well. Oh, we have a draw. So we a got a draw there. Belay, how many do you have? Uh, Enrique, how many, guys? Judy? Imelda? I have 70. Okay, 70. 45. 45. Margarita? I didn't write, so you I didn't don't know. write it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
okay. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, well, guys, uh, congrats. Everybody did an amazing job. We have a draw between Mauricio and Gabby. So, yes, congrats for them, guys. Demoles emojis. Rocks and papers. Let's give them some emojis. Uh -huh. No podemos irnos a los penales here, but, but we can give them emojis. Rocks and papers. A paper, rock, and scissor. <laughs> so very good job. That was well played. Very well played, everybody. Okay, good. So we're going to like check a couple of things that we have still pending. El día de ayer revisamos un poquito uh, something related to fires, right? And the last activity that we have was um, related to the most... Um, common, let's say, disasters like a fire, like uh, earthquakes. Uh, también recuerdo que teníamos floatings, right? We had floatings as well. Um, so, guys, what do you remember about yesterday's uh, description in your group? So, what do you have first? ¿Quién tenía fires? Who had fires? Ya, ya la mandé, teacher. Ahorita, Ricardo. Give me one moment. Uh, Ricardo, creo que le está mandando a otro grupo, I believe, porque no la veo, I don't see that. No, si el mismo grupo era. Permítame entonces, just let me check, probablemente yo me la salte. Um... Pues no la veo, I don't see that one. Mm -hmm. Mm, I don't see that one, Ricardo. Super weird. Mm -hmm. No la veo. I don't see it. Oh, reenvíeme la porfa. Send it, send it over to me. Yeah, because. Bye. Ah. No, pero no aparece la respuesta. ¿Y ¿Cómo la respuesta? No, la, pues sí, la respuesta ya la hice, va, pero después me aparece cero cuando la mando. Eh, envíeme captura de lo que le aparece, please. Permítame, no sé cuál es. Es que lo está mandando al el link le está mandando. ¿A dónde le está mandando? Oh, here. El link al grupo de Zoom y tiene que ser la pantalla al grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, como I see that. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, ¿dónde suena? Pero no lo veo. Okay. Yes, Ricardo. So, Tome la sola captura, please, y lo envía al grupo de WhatsApp, como cuando envía fotos al grupo. Vaya. Necesito Está ayuda eh, para tomarle la foto. Sí. Okay. Um, ¿Usted me ha mandado un par de fotos de sus avances o de las tareas antes? So, yes. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. Tómele una foto. Uh -huh. Tómele una captura, right? Y uh -huh. cuando um, está en el teléfono. Lo voy a hacer otra vez porque se me aburró. No, no, no. Wait. Uh -huh. No es necesario Pero, que, la vuelve a, que la vuelva a hacer. That wouldn't be necessary. Cerró, cerró la página. No. Todavía le aparece donde dice gracias. Uh -huh. Pero voy a buscar copiar vínculo. No, no, no. Eh, no copie el vínculo. Solamente tómele una foto. Si está en la computadora con su teléfono, le puede tomar una foto, como una foto normal. Ah, pero me aparece cero, 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 cero. No, no, no sé qué es lo... Eh, puede compartir pantalla here. Ya voy a ver, pero... Es en la computadora. Sorry, guys. Deme un momento, solo... I need to finish uh, with all of them. Ahorita está en la computadora, Ricardo. No, teléfono. Eh, ¿La sesión de clases? ¿Desde dónde está? 
Aquí estoy en el son. En el teléfono o en la computadora. Uh -huh. el teléfono. Ok. Y la encuesta la estaba completando en el teléfono también. Ah, sí, es en el teléfono. Uh, hold, hold. Perdí a Ricardo. Ok, Ricardo, me escucha. Ricardo, where are you? Creo que no me escucha. No. Ok, so creo que no. I don't get him. Desactivo el... Sí, es que creo que se volvió a conectar and, uh, eh, el audio no se le ha todavía reinstalado. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. So just give me one moment. Let me just uh, make sure that we have Ricardo's a screenshot. Había ido el chat. Hi. Ah, ahora sí le escucho. Ok. Um, so, si gusta, Ricardo, le escribo en WhatsApp para que me la comparta ahí. Bye. Está bien. Mm -hmm. So, you, you can share that to me. Ah, sí, no me escucho. Ok, guys, so, um, briefly, lo que vamos a hacer right now is the following. Vamos a compartir un poquito de lo que describimos el día de ayer con el, nuestro grupo, donde hablábamos de disasters, um, mm -hmm. you talk about the costs, the races, and some recommendations or what to do in case of an emergency, what to do uh, during a fire, what to do during an earthquake, etc., And then we are going to have a general description because we have some readings as well. So give me just a moment. I'm going to ask you guys uh, to join the following groups. Let's go and describe the events. Tenemos floating, earthquake, and fire. So talk about the one you had yesterday. Talk about the, what to do, right, in case of an emergency, and then Um, I'm gonna be asking some people. So let's go ahead, guys. We have five minutes only. Let's go, go, go.
Vaya, nosotros ayer teníamos eh, Fire. No sé si alguien más tiene eso. Fire. Sí, yo también estaba en el grupo. Con ah, sí, ¿verdad? No sé quién. Y Judy también. <risa> Solo falta sí. Belén y, y Melda, creo. Sí. Pero como a mí me estaba sacando, saqué unas ideas, pero creo que me confundí porque de Airquake. Ay, no, but that is okay, no problem. Mejor todavía, so that sounds even better because okay. we can share about that. Sorry, guys, solo tengo un, un, un mensaje para Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo, no la completemos ahorita. Eh, ya no la completé, ahorita le estoy escribiendo a los compañeros and, uh, y si es necesario, ellos le van a escribir. Oiga, si no, Bye. that's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. gracias. No worries. Okay. Teacher, yes, thank you. No problem. Sorry, guys, go ahead, please. <laughs> so, Judy, tell us about the earthquakes. Okay. Uh, in the event of an earthquake, the first recommendation is to remain calm, then raise your hands to your head and cal calmly leave the place. If possible, single file. Okay, so, so you mentioned that you have to put your, your, heads on, your hands on your head, right? Yes. Uh, okay, and then calmly, you have to leave the place? Yes, um, the um, remain calm. Oh, okay. So you got to remain calm mm -hmm. and then leave the place. Um, if possible, single file. That is in case of an earthquake. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Yesterday we were talking about earthquakes. So in the case of an earthquake, um, do you leave places? I think that putting your on, your hands on your head is super common. Guys, alguien ha estado en simulacros? Have you ever been on, on drills? Yes. Oh, okay, nice. So what are some steps that yes. they tell you to, to complete or to do? Simulacros. Drills, drills. Drills, drills. So, ¿cuáles son los pasos, Yuri? What are the steps that you remember? No, correr. No, no correr. Ya le pasó. Ah. First, I think uh, the, the, the alarm mm -hmm. song and kept calm. Okay. And... Oh, I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and suddenly during an earthquake, todos corriendo. You know? <laughs> Everybody running. No, it's okay. No so, correr, hay que agarrar las cosas a suave, no hay que ajolotarse, hay que okay. saber cómo es. Okay. En qué lugar se puede colocar porque si no le cae un ladrillo. Very porque... nice. Ahora en inglés, now in English. Or when I was nine years, now there's big one. Okay, so you <laughs> said, um, keep calm. So much yeah, there's a tranquilo. Calm. Keep calm. Be calm. Be calm. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. It cover mm -hmm. your head. I think that works. Judy, come on. What else? Francisco, what else? For there, calm. Come in the, the door. Open? Caminar hacia la salida. Ah, okay, okay. Go to the door, okay. Go to the door. Mm -hmm. Hay un punto de reunión, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, the safe area or the safe zone. The, the, the safe, safe one. Area. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
like go to the safe zone. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I have another announcement. Eh, Ricardo ya me contestaron. Me dice la compañera que mañana le va a escribir, así que no se preocupe. Vaya. No worries. Vaya. Thank Gracias. you. Thank you. No Thank worries. You. Okay. Francisco, what else? Give us more. Enrique, give us more too. Enrique is very quiet today. <laughs> Guys, during an earthquake? Aleja, alejarse del lugar. Ah, uh, how do you say get, alejarse? Get, 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 away. get away. Get away or stay away. Way. Yes. Get, get away or stay away. Don't uh -huh. try stay away of windows. Get away from windows. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? That would be earthquakes. Uh, yesterday, creo que ustedes tenían fuegos también, right? So you had fires. So guys, uh, compartan lo que tenían, please. Share what you have with your classmates. And Reviter, see what in a moment too. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, do not enter on damaged buildings. Hi guys. Uh, Hi. So which do you have? Is that floating, earthquakes, air fires? Earthquakes. Oh, okay. Uh, estaban en el mismo grupo. Were you in the same group yesterday? No. no. Ah, okay. Okay, we're good. So, uh, in your groups, uh, the kids discutieron ayer. What did you discuss about yesterday? We, well, in my group, we discussed about floating. Floating, okay. Ah, yes, I remembered. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, the electricity went down. Okay, so floating. In my group, earthquakes. Oh, so that was earthquakes. Okay. Ruben, nos falta para el minuto. <laughs> I think that Ruben is, uh, he's just listening, right? Just listening. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he's not there. Okay, guys. And Gabby, what about your group? I didn't join to any group. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm so yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right. Guys, um, have you ever been on a drill? Alguna vez han estado en um like drills, afarranchos? Um, what's the word for that? Simulacros? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. What kind? For fires? Uh, for earthquake. Oh, for earthquake. Okay. Tell me, Gabby, what about you? Uh, for earthquake too. Oh, okay. Tell me and you? Oh, teacher. You haven't? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> so not yet. You'll do it. Okay. So how did it go? ¿Qué hicieron? How did it go? Well, uh, they uh, made a fake alert <laughs> with, <laughs> with uh, I don't know how to say, es como una trompetita que sonaba. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> a, 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 a normal trumpet. Yes. Oh. Uh, we supposed to um, concentrate mm -hmm. in the uh, in the areas we have our desk mm -hmm. and say or the object um dangerous object uh, mm -hmm. ¿cómo se dice? Alejarlos. Uh, put them away. Put them away and put them away. Mm -hmm. put them away and try to stay in a, in a safe place. Oh. And hold on for a little ah. bit and 
uh, follow the the arrows. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you do the evacuation and everything? Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you go yeah. under the under the the spots under the uh, the desks or the tables? No. Well, uh, the administrative offices. No, but the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to do it because uh -huh. they don't have. Uh, and, and the spot will mm -hmm. can be safe. So they have uh, to do this kind of, this kind of uh, exercise. Ah, uh, okay. Very uh, interesting. Yes. Uh, well, all of the office uh, have to get, a, get out of the building mm -hmm. and uh, some, uh, some groups for um, um, por, ¿cómo se llama? Por gerencias. Oh, like in areas. In, in areas for work, yes. Oh, I okay. have my, my own area, but my department just, just, mm, somos tres. Oh, <laughs> what a big group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we have to break up for another areas. They have to um, uh, an area in common mm -hmm. with them. So oh. we adopted. <laughs> adopted oh. us. Yeah, because because you're just three. Uh-huh. Hey, Gabby, what about in your case? Uh, well, in my case, I've been doing... Uh, ¿Cómo dijo que se decía simulacro? Drills. Drills. Drill. Uh, I've been doing drills since school. So, like, uh, uh, since I remember, like, seventh grade, mm -hmm. probably. After that, um, high school and also in, in the university. Uh, really? Last time, yes. Last oh. time we did it, it was in clinics. Uh, like, we simulate that we have a a patient we are like we were working with a patient mm -hmm. so uh what we have to do is like uh protect our patient mm -hmm. uh like uh they they were like um acostado lay down i think yes laying down uh -huh. lay down and we have to protect them uh if they are elderly 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 people elderly? Uh, uh -huh. they cannot uh get up and put behind the, the unit behind the the, the a chair Mm -hmm. we have to protect them with our body oh. Oh. Uh, but if they can uh bajarse if, if they can get down and uh -huh. put uh, behind the shirt we have to like uh, be protecting them always mm -hmm. and so they have wow. uh, just that and just stay calm and be patient until um they're like uh our dozens are Nosotros docentes están como um, entrenados. They have a, an, an, an entrenamiento. They are trained. They are yeah, trained. They are trained to, uh, for that. So mm -hmm. they have to uh, avisarnos. Uh, let you know. Yeah, they have to let us know when it's ready the, to walk una, for a safer place. Wow. Yeah, yes, you know, but so, that takes oh. a lot of time. And but, actually, some days later, uh, there was an earthquake. Or yeah. uh, see, um, earthquake, yo entiendo que es como un um, bien fuerte, pero fue como un temblor pequeño. Like a tremor. Ajá, like a tremor. Okay. And, and nobody up here. <laughs> and left us like por la voluntad del señor. No. <laughs> so they, they forgot you were there? Yes. No había nadie de seguridad. Mm. No había las escaleras de, de, de salida de emergencia estaban cerradas. Nothing. No había nadie en oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, but, but thank God, you know, nothing bad yeah. happened. There was not an accident or yeah. something. But me llama la atención eso because, ajá, uh -huh, normally in a drill, it's como, yes, I'm going to exit, I'm going to protect myself. Mm -hmm. But this is different because, as you said, 
you have to protect like the the patient mm -hmm. oh I mm -hmm. never thought Just about in case it. They, that they are early people, elderly people. If they are young, no, they have to uh, walk and put behind a chair to protect uh, them. But, uh -huh, but they exactly. have to protect them. Exactly, mm -hmm. that is the point. Wow, sounds mm -hmm. different. Or if you have kids, for example, well, normally you have parents, right, with the kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wow. you have to um, explain them what they have to do yeah. and guide them. So kind of you go all over the person to protect them uh, if you no, need to like when like guide them uh, you have to do this and uh, put behind the the, the shirt and i'll be uh the, detrás de ti oh mm -hmm. but very interesting wow mm -hmm. so you're ready for that sounds really nice sounds yeah. really really okay. interesting and different <laughs> but sounds cool okay 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 Okay, guys, uh, give me just a moment. Uh, we are going to join the rest of the group so we can finish discussing um, part of the activities. When Thank you guys for coming back. So we were talking about like some of these um, mom made sometimes and uh, also natural disasters that can happen. Very interesting because I guess algunos si han tenido uh, drills. Uh, so you have been kind of in some situations, uh, you know the steps, you know what to do. And uh, it's super interesting, you know, that we uh, get kind of trained already for that situation. So, guys, um, let's go with the floating. In case of a floating, ¿qué harían? What would you do? Okay, Google, okay, Google. So, si hay una inundación, if there is like a, a big floating, probably in your community or in neighboring communities, ¿qué harían? What would you do? The first teacher, I think that uh, you should to check uh, how is their the street. Mm -hmm. For example, if the water is um, higher or, como decía, como decir, con correntada, o sea, fuerte. Okay, or a flow. Uh -huh. like a, mm -hmm. like a flow could be a uh, dangerous for you so no will be recommend to you get out it, okay. it's very dangerous in your home okay so yeah it's not a good idea to go out and that is so true you know it's very dangerous come on guys what else Turn it off, all the, don't, don't the equipment. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? I think I heard Rafa and I'm not sure if I heard uh, Belen too. Yes. Um, don't I... cross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rafa, let's go with you. So don't cross. <laughs> don't cross a river or through the areas. Okay, so don't cross river, flooded areas. Creo que mencioné algo más con electricidad. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was me. Oh, okay, okay. What uh, is it turn really? it off. Yeah, turn it off all the equipment uh, with electricity, electricity equipment in the house. Okay. 
Okay, so turn off all the electrical equipment. That is right. So unplug them, right? También. So que lo desconectemos. So unplug everything. Okay. What else, guys? Floatings, do you have anything else? Unplug them. So que los desconectemos. Have unplug an emergency them. kit. Mm, have an emergency kit. Okay. Taking you full and room. <laughs> okay, so no on run. <laughs> that is not a good idea. Look okay. for a place on height. Oh, look for a place that is kind of high. Like designate a mating. Designating a mating. Mating, mating. Oh, what do you mean? A you mean plows? Que se or... refiere? Like designate or... designing? Decide and take attention. Uh, do me a big favor. Escribamelo, please. Write it down. Let me, let me just make sure that I get yes, your yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Escribamelo, please. Write it down. Let, let, me, let me just uh, confirm I got it. Okay, so that would be with a floating. Definitely, guys, look for a high place and don't go out. What about a fire? So, querían say un fuego incontrolable, something you cannot control anymore, um, or the place is on fire. Avoid the elevators. Avoid elevators. Try to climb for the stairs to avoid oh. the smoke. Okay, so go to the stairs. Guys, something important. Debemos como de gatear o estar más cerca del suelo, right? How do you say yeah. gatear in English? Crawl. Crawl, exactly. Crawl. So we need to crawl, all right? Or get super close to the to the floor, okay? ¿Qué más? What else? So we need to crawl. Walk away. Walk away, yes. Maybe try to get wet your clothes to put in your nose and try to avoid the smoke okay, as possible so you can. Something very nice you mentioned, so wet clothing or wet something and protect your nose, okay? Okay, very good. And that is exactly design a meeting. Oh, design like a meeting point, como un punto de encuentro, right? Like a meeting point. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is important too. So, guys, we have a little if something. You can use a extinctor. Oh. So, mm -hmm. In the case of the fires, use. right? Yeah, so use a fire extinguisher that can work. So, um, I think that we are kind of familiar. Guys, see, uh, I'm utilizando extintores and hecho ya el. el uh, el drill, the fire. Yes, so, you know, yes. Oh. No, not yet. Guys, it's very interesting. So you should do it. Okay, so here we have a little description of a fire escape plan. So tenemos un poquito de what to do in case of a fire. It says practice escaping from every room in the building, like you said, ya mencionaron here. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of every room. In the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Ooh, looks crazy, right? ¿Alguna vez lo han hecho? Have you ever done something like this? What do you think about this one? Too much? Es demasiado, too extreme? Too much. Do you think this is probably too much? It says practice feeling your way out of a building in the dark or with your eyes closed. ¿Alguna vez han andado en oscuras en su casa or in the office or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, okay. All the night. Oh, cuando at va. night, cuando se va la luz, exactly. So when the light or electricity is down. Mm -hmm. when, when I go to the bedroom in the, the middle of the night. Oh, and you turn the lights off. Okay, okay. Now, 
So this is very important. I, I did. Yes. I didn't practice once uh, when I worked at Torre Futura. Okay. Uh, we are in the level um, 17. No, 17 floor. Yes. Uh, so we have to do it a practice and we have to down uh, uh, through the stairs um, in the dark. Oh, wow. In the emergency, emergency, emergency in the exit. Mm -hmm. In the dark. Uh, Yes, in the dark, and we have to the, do it the practice. Uh, all the employees of the three levels. Mm -hmm. That was recently. No, it was in. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe 2016, 2015, quizá. They did recently too. <laughs> Wow, but this sounds really interesting. Imagine, in nuestras casas, we know our houses, right? Y aún así nos, estamos a punto de caernos. But in a, in a company, in the dark, wow, sounds super crazy. Uh, ¿Hubo algún accidente? Was there any accident? No, because uh, all the people use the light of the cell phone. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. No, but that's good. So improvising. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that sounds okay. All right. So see, hacen esas prácticas. Interesting. Nice, nice. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Sounds really good In to Bellis, us. Bellis. In Bellis, and, and extra. Uh, the next one, guys, says immediately leave the place. Okay. No estamos hablando de un earthquake, but we are talking about a fire. So immediately leave the place. Uh, Rafa, please, ayúdenme a leerlo. Can you help me read it? <coughs> eh, Rafael. Sorry, teacher. No problem. <laughs> so you were mute. <laughs> okay, help me, re help me read it, please. Immediately leave the place. Mm -hmm. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving food. Mm -hmm. Take the safe exit road, but if you must escape through a smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. Mm -hmm. The smoke contains toxic gas which can be stolen through all at work or come you. Thank you so much. And yes, guys, this is something you already mentioned. So keep your mouth covered, right? So cover your nose, cover your mouth. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. Um Gabby, so, please. Crow low. Oh, crawling, yes. Is... Uh -huh. or... Yes, exactly. That is crawling. Uh -huh. Como arrastrarse. Actually, uh -huh. uh, the word wouldn't be gatear, but nosotros le llamamos así, pero es como, como arrastrarse, you know. So, como, el, oh, like, como las serpientes. So, snakes, they crawl, como, they crawl, como se deslizan o se arrastran. So, that would be the one. Mm -hmm. So, they yeah. crawl, yes. I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday we were talking. We was talking about uh, some words that uh, maybe try to explain something very similar, but in the different situations. For example, mm -hmm. uh, put out, uh, turn off, mm -hmm. and I don't remember the third one. Maybe it's cut off. But in which situations we can use this? Because when we're talking about um, lights, we'll see that it was turned off. But we were talking about some stuff, it, it was cut off. So we have a uh, light confusing about that. Oh, actually, this is a very good question because most of them are super similar but they are different. Um, so if you want, let's finish the reading. And of course, we can check this out. 
no problem. Okay. They are really nice uh, phrasal verbs, by the way. Um, guys, let's go with the next one. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. So, um, Angelica, please help me with this one. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. Mm -hmm. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the dark knob and the crack between the door and the door frame to make sure that fire is not in the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape road. Thank you very much. Okay. So never open. Why, guys? Why do you think this is important? Never open doors that are hot to the touch. Well, the fire is in the other side. And when you open the door, you um, make the oxygen enter to the room and make the fire increase. Oh my God, I couldn't explain this better. That was really good. Exactly. And, and that I can get worse. Say that it could be explode. Mm, yeah, it can get definitely worse. It's that was pain, a very good explanation. Thank you guys, very <laughs> nice. Uh, next one, uh, designate a meeting place. Lo que nos mencionaba Ricardo. So designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Um, so let me see. Delby, please, can you help me with this one? This name a meeting place outside and take attendance. This name a meeting location away, away from the building. Mm -hmm. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or from sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hard looking for someone who is already safe. Oh, thank you so much. Very nice. Very, very nice. Next one, once out, stay out. So Enrique, please, can you help us with this? Okay. Once out, stay, stay out. Remember to escape first then notify the fire department. Never go back into the uh, burning Burning. Building. For any reason, if someone missing, tell the firefighters they are equipped to perform resource safety. Thank you so much. Very nice. And Francisco, please, can you help us with the last, finally? Finally, Hagwin. Working, smoking, oh, and <laughs> Yo Work no estaba confundiendo day. con Francisco, pero ahora sí respondió ah, a Francisco. Hombre. Oh. <laughs> ahora se usted se autocambió nombre, Ricardo. Bueno, ok, continue, please. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Por donde me quedé, que bueno. Uh, having working smoke alarms. Smoke alarms. On every level, a light bubbling. Of the Thai building? Building. Tremaikai. Increases. Increase. Charles. Or which is smoking. Survival. Of survival. So what? So what? In better. In red. Instead, every man in Chamber. A weird news. Once, 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 once large, at least, once, at least, once, once a year, once a year, once, once a year. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so here we Sorry, have a couple teacher. of important things. Yes, Carlos. Yeah, I got so much pain on my back, oh. my, my head, and I need to go to get a injection to the pharmacy oh, oh okay okay no worries I, I totally get it. for the end to oh, for the picture thank yes. you <laughs> <laughs> no thank you of course no problem so i Up hope you get you soon. okay thank you so much for that good night everybody <clears throat> okay so get thank, better. You. thank you you get, get better, better. Carlos.
Gracias. Ooh, sounds bad. Okay. Okay, guys. So here we have a couple of um, answers, and it says underline the best recommendation in each group. Uh, two of them are not right. When fight occurs, guys, what is the correct answer? Get all the things of value, leave the place, or try to put out the fire. So, ¿qué es lo que debemos de hacer? What should we do? Leave the place. If you can, it will be get out all the things, but the first thing is leave the place. Oh, okay. Important. Okay. So, guys, do you agree with Mauricio? Leave the place. Or get all the things of value. Guys, el teléfono, your cell phone, <laughs> the TV, you know, the PS4. Yeah. No, use the cell phone or something like that. Okay, so debemos regresar. Should we go For back? For example, could be, could be uh -huh. papers. Oh, Important okay. papers. Okay, so what would you do, guys? So when fire occurs, get all the things of value, probably papers, las escrituras, I don't know. Is that important? Definitely, definitely. Uh, leave the place, salga corriendo de ahí. So leave the place immediately or try to put out the fire. So intent extinguirlo. Which of them? What would you select? Try to put out the fire. Uh, try to put out the fire. The it depends, depends if right? The fire is more. If the fire is a yeah, before, is big, before you try, do it. <laughs> nice, sounds really good, exactly. So, si es pequeño, se puede, yeah, try to put out the fire. If it's too big, para que intenta, you know, so just leave the place. Number two, when you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it, open the door, look for another door, carefully feel the doorknob. Look and the cracks of door. the door for hardness. What is what would you do? Look for Look another for door. door. Look for another door. Yes. yes. When you come to a closed door, decía algo por ahí. It said something there. I think carefully feel the door no door. Yes, <laughs> carefully feel the door knob, exactly. The door knob is como la perilla, right? So you just uh, touch it. It's said in the in the reading. Mm -hmm. Number three, designate a meeting place as near the building as possible, away, away from, from the building I or at home. Win. What would you have in number three? Away from the building. Away from the building. Away uh, from, away the, from building. the building. Perfect, there you go. Number four, before trying to escape, Escape first without hesitation. I mean, just go. Notify no. the fire department first or call your family and tell them not to worry. Notify, notify the department the first. Department. Notify the department. department first. Oh, notify. Okay, so notify the fire department if it is possible, right? And then just leave. Okay. Or escape first without hesitation. Without hesitation is like, no lo dude, just go, right? Number five fire alarms. Test them every year. Install them on the top and ground level or change them every five years. Yes. Yes. Time every five. Está Could here. El, el último pedacito. This yes. is right here. He right here. So every finally, year. having working smoke alarms installed on every level of the building, uh, smoke alarms, batteries need to be tested every month and change with new ones, at least once a year. So guys, what is the answer? Uh, test them test, every year. Test them every, test them every, every year. year, exactly. That would be it. And uh, that is pretty much in case of an alarm. Okay, guys, so uh, pretty much we covered part of the content. Uh, so it has been just amazing, but antes de irnos, guys, before leaving, I have heard one little activity, que es one minute talk. Un segundo, give me just a sec. So uh, we have been like practicing with fluency a lot, I would say. So I have here a couple of topics and we are going to select some probably victims, you know, <laughs> some volunteers. So whatever comes first. Uh, so 
This is one minute talk, guys. So for a minute, we can talk about any topic that you choose from one to 21. But this is going to be one minute non-stop. So un minuto sin parar, sin detenerse, invent, create, say whatever you want, but just we, speak about it for one minute. So we chose our shows or hard so, way this time. Um, guys, vamos a hacer en orden. We're gonna do this in order. Uh, but uh, the first person on my list is Andrea. So Andrea, I'll go with you. <laughs> and then just select who is going to be the next person. Probably not todos vamos a pasar, so just the lucky ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andrea, are you ready? Okay. You can choose the topic right now. Uh, and obviously the topics will be reduced. So what is the topic you want to talk about? The music I like to listen to. Oh, very nice. What is the number? Uh, 17. Okay, so number 17. Music I like to listen to. So it's one minute, right? So uh, I, and then, I'm nervous. No, <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> so just speak everything, say everything you want about the music you like. That's it. Ready, okay. set, go. Okay, my favorite music I like to listen to is uh, music of the eight. Mm -hmm. And night in English, mm -hmm. I try to sing the letter, uh, sending video videos in in YouTube. I read and sing. Uh, I like rock. I like. Uh, baladas. Um, my favorite singers are Freddie Mercury, Bon Jovi. Um, Five seconds ago. Uh, I really enjoy this kind of music. And time is over. <laughs> yes, very nice. That was actually very nice, very fluent, Andrea. So, and, and the information you gave was pretty cool. Thank you so much for that. Andrea, who is the next victim? Imelda. Okay. Imelda, oh. you have been chosen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, it is one minute only. Uh, Imelda, okay. you can choose a topic now. Ah, let me see. <laughs> there are a lot and really cool. Yes, there are many that I don't know what to choose. No, no, no. I mean, choose the one that you feel more comfortable with. And it's um, just a minute. I, I, I choose my favorite animal. Uh, okay, number seven. There you go. So one, two, three, go. It's one minute. Okay. I think I choose this topic because it's uh, a little, um, uh, it's like a, a debate. <laughs> we did we did a debate about it. <laughs> okay. My favorite animal uh, is the cat. I love cats. <laughs> I think uh, they are the most, um, the most, uh, uh, the better uh, pet because they uh, they are clean mm -hmm. they are uh, so funny they are um, they like play with you but uh, at the same time they didn't um, they don't uh, suffocate you <laughs> okay like dogs <laughs> okay because cats uh, Likes uh, oh my god, time is over. 
I know you can continue talking about it. Uh, oh, and I'm still like, wait, are you talking about cats? Seriously? <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, no, that, that was the nice. best pet. <laughs> I think that we we need to extend that debate between cats and dogs, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But that was nice. That was nice. Uh, Imelde, uh, Imel who is the next victim? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I will choose a um, man because... <laughs> Only women. <laughs> I, yes. Um, Jose Arnoldo. Okay. Arnoldo, are you there? I don't know if Arnoldo is working. Arnoldo, are you there? Um, uh, I think, maybe... Yeah, I think probably he's working. Yes. Maybe Francisco. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Thank you. Francisco, so what's the topic you choose? Um, my favorite sport. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, there you go. So, perfect. You have a minute to talk about it. Try to give us as much information as possible. <laughs> so, ready? Yes. Set, go. Uh, uh, my favorite sport is softball. Mm -hmm. I I like it mm -hmm. uh, a lot. You have a uh, um, be fast. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it need. No. Uh, Bueno, eh, need have a strong arms, mm -hmm. brazos, sí. Yes, eh, yes. To hit the, the, the ball. Okay. Um, um, eh, I am fat, but I run very fast. Oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> um, I like this. Um, And And time I is think... over. <laughs> <laughs> But that was a nice description. Too much information. <laughs> no, Francisco, that was good. That was really nice. I didn't know you liked uh, softball, baseball. So sounds good. Sounds really nice. Francisco, who is the next person? Um, Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Maurice. Teacher, um, I will show the number nine. Nine. All right, my most favorite subject at a school. All right, there you go. My most favorite subject at the school, um, I guess that no was just one because I I prefer uh, uh, about all my subjects too. Literature and social. Okay. Uh, but I guess that is related because uh, the most thing that uh, I love of this subject is that I have to read. I have to read so much. Mm -hmm. So in literature, for example, uh, uh, I read my first book and I love it. That was the El Viejo y el Mar mm -hmm. about Hemingway. Mm -hmm. To I read uh, the most books like Mio Cid and mm -hmm. that was for uh, exams. But I read. <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off. Wow, but those are classics. So sounds really nice. I have never read uh, The Old Man and the Sea, but Mio Cid, you know, they are like, oh, high school. It reminds me It's a buenísimo. lot about high school. Wow, incluso, thank you so much. Incluso si no fuera cosa de clase, fuera bueno leerlo porque es buenísimo. Uh, they are good books, you know, pero creo que es... Uh, es algo aprendido. So if you like reading, so that's something learned. 
but nice. I love reading too. So I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> Mauricio, we have time for one more person. Who is next? Let me see, teacher. You have a lot of people here. So you have uh, Gabby, you got uh, Margarita, you have Ricardo, what? Kenya, Delmi. Who, who you say first? I don't remember. I was just <laughs> going over the list. <laughs> do you say a name? Uh, I cannot recall. So who do you choose? Who do you pick? Do you remember who, wow. Gabby? Wow, wow. Was it Gabby? That's it, Gabby. Okay, so Gabby, you are chosen one. <laughs> okay, Gabby, choose one topic, please. Uh, number eight. Oh, okay. The best time I've had. Okay. Yeah. Nice. What's the best time you had? You got a minute. So set and go. Well, actually, it was not the best time. I'm just going to talk about a specific day, and it was uh. Thursday from last week because I did something that I never thought I will I will be able to because I thought I wouldn't face my fear. Uh, I'm a, I'm very quick and I I don't usually take that um that those um those decisions mm -hmm. because I did skydiving for the first time and I think the unique time in my life no. and I was so scared and I. I thought that I was going to uh, back down. Maybe uh, I was going to um, retractarme okay. to do it, but for, for sure, now. I didn't. So I now I feel like I can do everything that I that I that I decide, and I and I hope this uh, feeling lasts for for well, for a lot of years or the rest of my life because it's very important. Oh, time is over, but I'm like, please t tell me about it. <laughs> well, actually, where did you, you take me? Where did oh, you yeah. go? Did you go to Ilopango? Um, no, uh, I'm in the U.S. with my family. Oh, to the yeah. Menor You haven't come yeah. back yet? No, not yet, oh. until Saturday. Oh, so you did it in U.S.? Yes, in oh. Washington. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's that is the skydiving center. Oh, that is one of the things I, I want to do this year. Hopefully, yeah, you know. But I mentioned because I knew you you want to. You, <gasps> no. <you> want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, there are a couple of things I want to do. Una mm -hmm. para sailing, you know, like um. So you get a harness, le ponen un harness, right? Y, y lo yeah, arrastran y sube. Oh, that is one. Uh, 15, uh, 50 thousand feet uh, oh like skydiving so but <laughs> apart from skydiving i really want to do parasailing and i want to mm -hmm. do bungee jumping so i'm like i i, I want to do it here because i know that in us bungee jumping is mucho más um you know i don't know how to say it it's mucho más alto so the, the mm -hmm. risk is even higher compartanos el video gabi <laughs> share the video i want to see that oh my god i really want to it was it. awesome yeah i knew and, and I'm, that's why i'm like antes que me di um diabetes que me sube la presión <laughs> antes que los 40 do it did it too oh and my like, daddy 53 I, i think Yeah, but but that's amazing, you know, but it's kind of expensive too. Guys, so it has been just amazing to listen to you. Guys, uh, vamos terminando module two, so we finish intermediate number two. It has been, uh, you have been an amazing group and I'm super glad Uh, to have you here and to uh, help you in this process. Guys, nos vamos a tomar la foto de finalización. So ahora sí, please, pónganse chulos y chulas and activate your camera just a moment. Let me just take your, your picture, uh, please. Hey, Enrique, ahora sí lo veo. I see you now. It's really good to see you. Uh, and uh, so creo que solo Carlos is missing. Yeah. Okay, and uh, guys, if you can activate your camera, that would be super cool. But I can no see those black spots. Uh, Iris, Ruben, Ruben, are you there? Uh, Helen, you there? Iris, nice to see you. 
I think the vent's not there. I don't know if balance working still. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me take your picture. Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo se fue. Wait. Ricardo. Uh, ayúdeme con su, con su camarita. Un momento, Ricardo. Ahí está. Para que no salga mm -hmm. el espacio negro, you know. Okay, guys. So, thank you. Yeah, pues sí, para que mueble y para que pose para la foto, you know. Okay, guys. Uh, let me take it. Uh, thank you so much for the, everything, guys. Ya les voy a compartir la picture, too. Ha sido un excelente grupo. And uh, espero, guys, que el, el grupo se mantenga hasta que lleguen avanzados, you know, that you finish together. Uh, and guys, si alguien dice yo no quiero, presionenlo para que siga, you know, because I know that cuesta un poquito por las horas. I know that is hard porque es tiempo sacrificado, but, but I'm pretty sure que va a valer la pena. It is going to be worth it at the end. So guys, uh, I'm super happy to be with you. Um, espero encontrarlos más adelante too, or de cuando ya están en avanzado. And no se les olvide completarme la plataforma, eh, please. And uh, si alguien tiene dificultades o se le bloquea, let me know para no dejarlo sin nota también. Um, so, guys, alguien ha tenido dificultades, comments, alguien tiene problemas con la plataforma. Todo bien, todos la terminaron. Yes, ok, amazing. You're the best, guys. Super, super good. So, thank you. And los compañeros creo que les van a estar eh, confirmando la fecha del siguiente módulo. Eh, estaría, creería, programada para el 25 de este mes, but I'm not sure. So, quédense pendiente de su correo. So, uh, you know, keep an eye in your email para que, you know, eh, no vayan a faltar, right? So, gracias, guys. Richard, Thank you so you much, people. Good night. I'm yeah, sorry. Do you mention me? In mm, regards to what? Sobre qué, Mauricio? Uh, in the attendance. No, ya tomé la foto. Oh. <laughs> I already took your picture, that's why. <laughs> so the picture is, is the, the one. <laughs> so bye guys, have a good night. Bye teacher. Bye. -bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. You're so welcome. Bye, teacher. Have a good one. Ya les comparto mm -hmm. la foto guys. Bye bye, have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. The two.